Riders, hello friends, we're glad to see you here. A minute until midnight, I'm just wondering where you at, just thought I'd call and wish you goodnight, I left my key under the mat, I don't get anything done, you're stuck in my mind, I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe, this feeling I go when I say what we had, Right now, and I love her so much. You do? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> she loves. She likes going in the air like this. <laughs> okay, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna go get Jericho's iPad. You guys, so I definitely see a difference in my hair today. I dyed my hair indigo last <gasps> night. It obviously looks black. <laughs> my hair's all over the place. <laughs> It looks black, but like it looks like very black compared to my brown hair. But as you guys saw earlier, Jericho was in class. He had his what they call bunk Mom. time. Bunk time is when like she tells all the kids to write a certain sentence and draw a picture. And then she has one-to-one -one time with each kid. And Jericho's time is at 11.20, so it is currently 10. So he's already done with his sentence right here in his notebook. And he drew his picture. And now he is on his iPad. And Kalia just woke yeah, up. Yeah, this is the game what I was talking about. I know how... <laughs> he is the hook right now oh my gosh you guys i'm so sleepy um yeah i don't know if i told you guys about this wow. youtuber that i really love i found her back when she had 10,000 subscribers and that was literally y'all probably like in april she had like 10,000 subscribers in april and now it's August oh. and she has 365,000 subscribers. I love her channel. Uh, like when I first found her, it was when I was telling y'all that I wanted to move back to New York right before all of this COVID like really started. And I had found her channel. I was looking at like New York apartment tours. She had moved to New York and then it was too expensive she moved back to california where she's from and then while she was in california i was still watching her you know i liked her channel and y'all i saw i started seeing the growth in her channel like one of her videos i guess got recommended a lot or a lot of her like new york videos got recommended so much and she started to blow up on youtube and i'm really happy for her because she i y'all i love her personality like she's so like just so like chill she's sarcastic she's funny and Anyways, y'all, her name is Kelly Stamps. We'll go to her channel, if, especially if you love watching New York. And I told y'all, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to move to New York, just because everybody wants to see New York City, y'all. Personally, like, I... Uh, New York City is obviously really expensive, but I was born and raised there. And I just know that I would get more opportunities living out there. It would just be easier to, like, vlog, I guess. Also, once again, a lot of people in the world have always wanted to go to New York, you know everybody wants to see how new york look uh, people who are not from new york you know and it's just something that is on a lot of people's bucket list and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to move over there that and also youtube space is there and they have a lot of events obviously now with covid i'm pretty sure they're closed but you know before when i wanted to move it was before all of this happened so youtube space they once again they have a bunch of like youtube events and things where you can learn more about youtube and also network and all of that so yeah that is that and yeah so i'm watching her right now and i seriously i really living like vicariously through her because i just be watching her videos and i'm like oh, i just wish i was over there vlogging too <laughs> anyways but kelly i'm excited you excited yeah why I'm excited. what are you excited about huh what are you excited about Ice cream. She decided to buy ice cream. Boy, she did not say no ice cream. Thank you, Kalia. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Wow. Gracias, Kali. 
Y'all, can I just say, this thing is just smelling up my house. It smells so freaking good. And then this one was like $7 more. And I literally cannot smell it. Like, whatsoever. I mean, you can smell it when you open it. This is from Target, by the way. You can smell it and it smells so good when you like open it literally like the smell is so intense but then when you burn it it doesn't smell like how does that even make sense so right now that just fell off of the little hook thingy anyway so right now i'm going to make my meal prep which i have a video just like a vlog video where i do it and this is going to be a vlog video where i do it as well and it is broccoli carrots and Chicken. I don't get anything done, you stuck in my mind. I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe. This feeling I'm going to say what we had. Would you come on over? Don't you miss me too? Give it all you got, babe. Give it all you got, baby. The kids are watching Dora. It actually came out on Hulu. So they're watching right here. Kalia was actually watching it last night before she went to bed. And this thing broke over here. I need to get that fixed. So yeah, anyways, since I am meal prepping, as you guys saw, my chicken is over here cooking. My broccoli and carrots are already done. I might as well make dinner just so that I won't be like lazy later on because you know, sometimes it gets to the time to start cooking and I just am not feeling it. And right now I'm feeling it. So today I'm gonna make carne apanada. I believe that's what it's called. It's like an Ecuadorian meal that I learned from my mom because she used to make it for my dad and you know, my family makes it and stuff like that. So what I'm going to use, I bought the eye of brown thin steak and it comes in here. And so I already cut it up right here and cleaned it and all of that. And I am going to season it just a little bit with probably a little bit of salt and pepper don't take it personal I ain't lying I ain't hiding I've been grinding multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. 
You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the hygiene If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Ooh, I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be So her movie finished and then this is what she says. Get it, get it, get it. So this is my lunch. I actually have to eat some right now. And that's how it's looking. I added a little bit of cheese. Yummy. And I'm going to add my favorite hot sauce, Valentina. Look like you always be working. Soak in the moments you live in. Yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. So, this is what happens when you forget to wash your blender and then you meal prep and cook at the same time. And I still have these two pots to, to clean as well. And I gotta clean this too. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me get to that right now. cider donut candle smells so good y'all i love it so much I'll do that since i finished cooking i've literally been in the kitchen for almost three hours myself boy don't you worry you'll find someone someone who wants you back but that is not me so give it up haven't you had enough too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter what you do Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Or you really need to understand 
in a while. You want it? Oh, you want to show them? Yes. Dile, me lavé el pelo. Se me lavé el pelo. Dile, me lavé el pelo. My name is Peter Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive Wow, good job. <laughs> oh my Lanta. So you guys, I think I might um, start, let me put this bottom down. I think I might start trying to cook earlier. I just feel way better. Like I feel super productive, even though don't get me wrong, I feel super productive on other days. But then when it comes around cooking time, like I said, I'd be like, I just had so much going on all day that by the time it's like five o'clock I'm like yeah I kind of don't want to cook um or I'll just like do something quick and easy this took a long time <laughs> anyways uh, I still have to make boiled eggs because with this meal you have boiled eggs on the side you guys will see I I've made it before in the vlog but if you're a new subscriber you guys will see um and if you are a new subscriber I am half um Ecuadorian and half Dominican my dad is Ecuadorian and my mom is Dominican and my mom she sh she was with my dad for 16 years I believe so she knows how to cook a lot of Ecuadorian food but honestly I'm not really a fan of Ecuadorian food like I like uh I can name a few things that I like like you know I like the way they make that's from my race I like I like you know the way certain people because certain people make like their steak and their rice and beans I like minestrone oh my god I love caldo de queso um, mainly the soups but like oh and arroz con pollo like I've made oh I don't think I've made that on the on my channel before I think I might make that. It's like this yellow rice with like shredded chicken inside of it and it has carrots and peas. <gasps> so good. And like you add a little bit of ketchup in it. I know it sounds a little weird, but it's so good. I might make a vlog doing that one day. I have to make it soon because I haven't made it in like three weeks or so. Or maybe like a month. Anyways, but um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of Ecuadorian food. But oh, and ceviche. Duh, ceviche is Ecuadorian food. That's my top favorite freaking food as far as my Ecuadorian side and my mom cooks all of that but obviously she's not gonna just cook it just to cook it she like randomly does it but my mom is it she cooks so good a lot of you guys have been asking me to cook with my mom or like for my mom to make a cooking channel and you guys the thing about YouTube is that like you guys watch you guys watch me on YouTube and we watch people on YouTube period but the thing that some people don't understand is that youtube isn't for everybody like just because i do youtube doesn't mean that my mom is comfortable with the camera and it's not just like oh because of shyness or nothing like that she sees what youtube comes with like i've spoken to her about it and she does not like it at all there's a lot of people that don't take shit from people and that's my mom like she doesn't and she just doesn't want to put herself out there in that in this way so you know i there are times that things bother me um you know negativity and stuff like that throughout the years i have grown to have thick skin because before y'all like before youtube i used to care so much like literally my life revolved around what people thought about me like it was just so horrible and i don't know if it's the way that i grew up because and i feel like it's just 
like the things that I grew up around. Like I feel like a lot of people used to just talk crap about each other. There was always tea, aka bochinche. And hearing that, of course, you're like, okay, so I wonder what this person's saying about me. And then some people would actually say it to your face. <sighs> Annoying. So I used to care a lot about what people thought. And then coming into this, it was the same way, you know? And there are times, like little things that it just annoys me that I feel like I always have to defend myself. Like, okay, this is how I am. Like, how dare you think that about me? This is how I am. And I finally got to a point where I'm like, at the end of the day, I know who I am and the people around me that love and care about me know who I am And I'm so grateful that a lot of you guys that watch the majority of you guys that watch Can see the type of person that I am even though you guys haven't met me in person and even those of you who have met me in person You guys see how I am. So um, Yeah, anyways, I just be blabbing. But yeah, once again, YouTube is not for everyone. Just FYI but my mom can throw down. She throws down. I wish I, I listened to her when she would tell me, Kiara, come over here and watch me cook. And don't get me wrong, I know how to cook, but I've always learned through a recipe on the internet, you know? Or or uh, like my mom will tell me how to cook a certain thing and I'll kind of know how to make it be from what she tells me. So you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm gonna make my second shake. I'm like an hour and a half. Is it an hour and a half? No, like an hour and 20 minutes late with my shake. Who is calling me? I'm mad because I already ran out of my shakes. Even though I bought two the last time that I bought my shakes, but they already ran out. And my next box should be here on Friday. So I have three days without shanks. <laughs> I'm exhausted, y'all, but it's about that time to start working. Let me clean y'all. It is about that time to start working. Kalia got into my bed and messed it up. Thanks, Kalia. Oh my gosh, I have like literally no energy. I've been up since eight o'clock in the morning. And it is currently 514. So that's awesome. I feel literally feel my eyeballs like they're tired right now. But I'm gonna put my hair up and start working. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm like literally so exhausted. Shout out to everybody who went to my Instagram and said that my hair looked nice last night. I ironed it right before I went to bed and I curled like the end. And it looks so cute, but as you guys can see right now, like those curls went away. I need to put like a cap on before I go to sleep or do a doobie, but I don't even have like, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I don't even have um, bobby pins. Anyways, let me work. Literally the second I lay down, Kalia comes over here. <laughs> Can I get my blanket back, please? Can I just take a nap in peace? Please, goodness gracious. Please, goodness gracious. <laughs> Hashtag mom life. Hashtag parent life. Can't even take a nap. Like, come on, man. Okay, me and you are gonna take a nap now. Me and you, Kalia. Literally, you guys took me 40 minutes to put her down. I have been trying to go to sleep on and off. Like, I'll just close my eyes for like 10 minutes. And I was like rocking her to sleep, but she did not want to go to sleep. But she's knocked out. And I looked at my timer because I had an hour timer set for my nap. And then I look right now and it says 22 minutes. So I'm going to try to take a nap for real this time. <laughs> oh my god. The struggle. Uh, you guys, so I took, I think, probably like a 40 minute nap. I honestly don't know because, like I said, I was like putting Kalia to sleep and then I was trying to put myself to sleep after that, which was in, like, I'd just be having trouble putting myself to sleep, anyways. 
Pookie's here. Say hi, Pookie. <laughs> Kalia's over here. Say hi, Kalia. Anyways, you guys, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. It's nine o'clock, and I'm probably gonna be up for a long ass time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much, and I appreciate all the love and support and all the comments and messages that I'm getting through here and on Instagram and through emails, and this is just um, so overwhelming, but such a good, overwhelming feeling. I love y'all, stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive. I'm sending you positivity and everything that is good your way. Love you guys, and have a good night, or a good morning, or whenever you guys are watching, or a great day, or a great night. <laughs> Peace out.